News Center One today. Well, having a baby is meant to be a joyous occasion for mothers, but for women who get preeclampsia, it's a different experience. And Lewis, I know all of our viewers watch as I went through it, but that's the condition I had, mm -hmm. and that's and why. Maddox. Yep, that's why Maddox came about three months too early. And May is actually Preeclampsia Awareness Month, so I wanted to learn more about what it was and why it happened. So here's a little bit about what I found. Take a look. Derived from the Greek term for lightning, eclampsia metaphorically in this context means a sudden occurrence. And that is what most women who develop preeclampsia say, it came out of nowhere. Preeclampsia is a pretext to eclampsia, which is seizures in pregnant women that could lead to a coma and even death. It's been a mystery to the medical field for centuries. The exact cause has yet to be pinpointed, so there is really no way to prevent it. But most experts believe it's a problem with the proper development of the placenta because the blood vessels that supply it are faulty. They're really getting closer and closer to the cause they just once you find the cause then you have to find something you can do to intervene and probably this is set up you know way before we really can intervene like the placenta starts to implant very early in the pregnancy sometimes before people even know they're pregnant this disorder shows its face with numerous different symptoms over the course of a couple days including swelling of the face hands and feet weight gain of more than five pounds in a week persistent headache Changes in vision, including seeing spots or flashing lights, nausea, upper right belly pain, and difficulty breathing. Detection of the symptoms can be tricky because many are the same as regular pregnancy woes. But when these symptoms are persistent and experienced altogether, that's when a red flag goes up. And when that voice in the back of your head says something doesn't feel right, trust that voice and see your doctor. It typically happens in the third trimester and no pregnant woman is safe from its fury. Basically, anyone who's pregnant is at risk. It is far more common in first pregnancies. Most people, the only risk factor they have is pregnancy. But there are a lot of women that don't, don't have any risk factors. Um, people that are obese, people that have chronic high blood pressure, people that have diabetes, they have a little bit higher incidence. To take it a step further, some women even develop a variant called HELP syndrome that also includes abnormal labs with various body organs shutting down, a toxic mix with the only solution to deliver the baby, which poses quite a dilemma as the fetus is not ready, but if not delivered may cause death in the mother and child. So the mother is given certain medications to help her baby and herself survive, like magnesium sulfate for the brain and steroids for the baby's lung development. And then you're forced to have a fast and furious delivery. And then a precious preterm baby that you must trust to the medical staff and the neonatal intensive care unit to help your baby reach a healthy condition and safe to come home. Many women are left feeling robbed of a normal delivery, but grateful if they and their baby came out of it alive. Aw, little Maddox there in the NICU. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, okay, with the story, I don't want to like scare anybody, any pregnant mm -hmm. women out there, but I just felt like when I got it, it just kind of came out of nowhere because mm -hmm. you feel like you don't think about it. You know, yeah. when you're reading the pregnancy book, you're not thinking, oh, I might get this. Because, yeah. you know, I was only basically like one of the risk factors because it was my first pregnancy. And I didn't know necessarily how to feel when you were pregnant. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you remember when I would come into work and be like, oh, man, I have this pain right yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's, you know, I had the signs, but I just didn't know. You didn't know. So kind of, but we, you know, we caught it in time. So. And everything. And everything panned out for us. Good. Maddox, Max so, is doing well then. Yes. Because yeah. I always see those pictures that you post of him, and he's always he's, doing he's, al good. he's always looking good. You always have him like dressed up. It seems like. Well, like, I always try. Some sort I of try. New outfit. <laughs> so I try. I'm, I'm totally that mom, right? Oh, I know. Oh, I know. You and your and the dogs too, right? Oh yeah. You dress, you're the one who. Dressed it it up was the baby Rocky first, but now it's Maddox. Rocky now it's Maddox. He's, His transition's <laughs> over. He's so there you go. And then tomorrow I'll touch more on. Um, just how to take care of yourself while you're pregnant. So almost 6.30 on this Monday morning. More news and weather coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back.